did a U-turn. Jeez. And got back into my lane when he had the center lane. Yeah. And they fucking say it's my fault. And they... What's up, you guys? John here with John's Moto Garage, and I'm in a sketchy-looking parking lot. I don't know if you guys can see. I'm meeting up a dude to look at a motorcycle. If it goes down, then I'll show you what it is. Wish me luck. If you don't hear from me in like 24 hours, then call the 5-0, call the cops. Bike, sir. How are you doing? You said Javier? Yeah. And Javier Jr. Cool. I'm John. Yeah. So are you the original owner then? Yeah, yeah. I'm the original. So these are the original tires still, it looks like, huh? Yeah. And the spider webs. Yeah. <laughs> My glasses as collateral too. More <laughs> like your keys. Right. I'll leave my keys. Right. No, no, I'm just, no. I mean, this business is business. Right for me. Just don't let me forget them. All right, Que Paso Amigos, John, John's Moto Garage, and today we're looking at a burnt down Safeway building. I heard about this on the news months back, and here we are checking it out. But no, in all seriousness, I'm sitting atop a 2013, sorry, it's a 2009 Yamaha V-Star 1300. And going through the neighborhood, this is the same old dance. The bike's in perfect condition, excellent condition, like new, no issues, super low miles. And then you get out here to look at it and I will show you what we're looking at. It actually runs pretty good. It's been a long time since I owned one of these bikes, you know, V-Star 1300. I think they're underrated, quite frankly, one of the best bangs for your buck. But I'm looking at this here. What's up, man? You buying it? I might, we're gonna see. What do you think? Is that your? Here is it? 2009. What do they want for it? 2,900 bucks. That's worth it. It's got like 7,000 miles on it. Shit, it ain't even broke in. Yeah, I'm just not digging all the cosmetic blemishes on it, you know? You know what? I didn't dig it on mine until I in, in, until I used them. Yeah. The, the, the saddlebags, those are a fucking cheap. Yeah. The windshield, I'd get rid of that motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> not digging the windshield. Well, it's good for like the cold, but shit, dude. Yeah. I just told him my bike, I had an 1100 shadow. Oh, dang. I fucking pulled out in front of me and did a U turn. Jeez. And got back into my lane when he had the center lane. Yeah. And they fucking say it's my fault. And they put, they put you at fault? Oh, yeah. Did insurance cover it or no? Not my bike, no. Jeez. Yeah, that sucks. Yeah. So now you're on four wheels. Shit, I totaled my fucking truck a month later. Jeez. I buy this fucking I want a fucking bike again, man. Fuck. Well. Fucking Harley next time. I want a thousand fuck. Right. <laughs> hey, this thing's got an exhaust on it, right? Yeah, it's, it's, it, it was getting ready to get set up. If I put a turbo on this fucker, it'll be a 10 second car. Oh, dang. Yeah, it's, it, was, it was getting ready to be set up for it. Yeah. It's got the, the 2.0 in it. The exhaust has already been done. Everything underneath the hood's been modified yeah take the nice right on man well i'll let you get back to it hey, take it easy there you go <laughs> later bro ah you gotta love it anyway so these are the cosmetics i'm talking about i don't know about you guys but i don't think it comes off the showroom floor like that so definitely not like new tires are all dry rot so the price was going to be 2900 bucks, but in the current condition, I should take that dude's advice and offer him 2500 but I don't even know if I would offer him that much. It's just hard to sell a bike when it's in such, when it needs so much, and I don't like to be dumping work into these things, so probably not the bike for me. There you have you guys. That's your example of a like new, excellent condition motorcycle on Craigslist. That's what you're going to run into nine times out of ten.
Thanks. No. Don't worry, we don't look like. I wouldn't. I wouldn't do this. <laughs> you, you don't think you could pull that off? Just cut your hair a little bit. I like how it rides, but I think just do the tires and just a little cosmetics. I'm, I'm gonna keep shopping. Okay. But I appreciate you letting me. All right, no problem. Out. I appreciate you driving all the way out, man. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for the check right. out. No problem. Have a good one. You too. All right, there you have it, you guys. We checked out this 2009 Yamaha V-Star 13 Hundo. And the bike was in not good condition. Cosmetically, mechanically, seemed to be pretty solid. It just had sat out in the rain for too long, or in the sun, exposed to the elements. So it was not the bike for me. The perfect, excellent condition motorcycle didn't end up being what they advertised. Who would have thought on Craigslist that you would run into that? But check this out. So this is an old Safeway building that I guess caught fire a few months back and Safeway decided not to rebuild it. So now it just sits here, doomed to its destiny. Just to recap, that was a 20, or sorry, 2009 Yamaha V-Star 1300 and the post said it was in excellent condition. I double checked with the dude, make sure everything was good with the title. And just to confirm that it really wasn't good condition and of course what do you know we get out there and turns out the bike's been sitting out in the sun well not in the sun it's been sitting on a porch basically its whole life so super dusty dirty tires are dry rot just again prime example of not being as advertised name of the game you run into it all the time on Craigslist buying bikes in general it's just not what they say it is and so you're wasting an hour hour and a half of your day but that's just what we do here on john's moto garage so gracias for tuning in if you dig the content be sure to like and subscribe and we'll hit you guys up on the next one nos vemos